In his day, Willie Rutherford was a sharp competitor, a regular campaigner in the RAC and other UK events using a variety of cars, escorts, Sierras, rotaries, even a Metro 6R4. After settling in New Zealand, he returned to rallying after 20 years for the last Silver Fern Rally. He's battled plenty in his life, but his biggest challenge has been with cancer, twice beating it in the last four decades. Representing everything about making the most of life, Willie has entered this event despite a less than favourable prognosis. It looked as if um, I was actually going to have to pull my entry, and that was, I couldn't believe that that was a bit. I couldn't believe that things could be as cruel as that to me. I just wanted to have to do it and have the pleasure of doing it. And, it's OK, I've said driving the car is the big thing, but the whole camaraderie of it and the, the, um, the character of these things, and also, as you pointed out, all the drivers, and, you know, they know they've been there, they know that there's a lot of respect between drivers, um, and it's a very, a very, very fulfilling experience to do something like this. Willie's car has been built by Alistair Gilmore, who sits alongside him in this event, ensuring he realises his dream to complete this marathon. Providing encouragement are three mates from England who made the trip out to visit their close friend. One who encouraged Willie to always do everything he wants. And he came up with a line which I've used millions of times, which is, he said, Willie, I'll guarantee you, the day you die, you'll have a thousand pounds left in your bank account. And he was absolutely right. And so um, you can come up with all sorts of arguments to not do these things. Um, if you want to, genuinely get on with it. And with those words, the Ipe Silver Fern Rally begins its final stages in and out of the Nevis Bluff.